Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna show you how in JavaScript we can achieve jumbling of characters, scrambling of characters. Uh, we'll be needing arrays. See, arrays have several available methods in JavaScript. Something like a sort or reversing an array. But it's nothing like scrambling an array or jumbling an array. And for which we need to create a custom function using the prototype constructor. I'm going to show you just that. For long I wanted to do this. I wanted to have scrambled characters. See the word scrambled out here. Has uh, This is the browser output here at the bottom. I'm using codepen.io. It's an online editor that has three panels. HTML, CSS, JS. There's nothing in the HTML panel. Very little in the CSS uh, panel. Body, font size 300%. Just to make it a little bigger so that you can see it very easily. And this is JavaScript. No jQuery. Purely JavaScript. Nothing else. <coughs> see, for example, if in line number 13 I change the word to, let's say, eggs. You can see that immediately in the browser which is down here at the bottom in code pen the browser preview is the white area okay so this is the way it shows up scrambled one two three right scrambled again this is the way it's see s c r a m so on and so forth so how is it made possible? It's made possible through the prototype constructor. See if you just type JavaScript array prototypes, this is what you're going to get. The prototype constructor allows you to add new properties and methods to the array object. When constructing a property, all arrays will be given all arrays will be given the property and its value as a default. When constructing a method, all arrays will have this method available. So we are making available the shuffle method. And shuffling some characters. See, this is the solution. This is part one, this is part two. Here you can see I've used the split method. Split method is inbuilt into JavaScript. There's no such thing as shuffle method. We have sort, we have pop, push, slice, splice, sort, reverse, etc. But nothing like shuffle. We have to create it. And we use the array.prototype.shuffle. And then we create a function. It's a little difficult to uh, make you understand this. I've added comments here, here, here. And in that function, I've created a variable, called it input, and made it equal to this. What is this? This is the array in question. <coughs> This is the array in question on which the jumbling will happen. And this will change from time to time. Yep. So, <coughs> so this is the uh, array in question which will change from time to time depending on what you want to scramble or jumble. Now this is the for loop. You know, this is the uh, the spine, the backbone. We need to understand this deeply. It's a little difficult. See, variable i, declaring a variable i and making it equal to input dot, dot length minus one. See, let's for example consider that the the word that we need to scramble is scrambled. The word that we need to scramble is scrambled, and this word scrambled gets pushed into 
a an array by the split method the split method will push into the array the letters s comma c comma r comma a comma m so on and so forth it splits the word into different characters so that's the variable jumbled it's a it's an array so this variable jumbled is actually this it's an array with characters s c r a m b l e t and variable i is the same as input which is that um array jumbled that's the input dot length 9 the length of it is 9 we are considering array with the the characters in scrambled length 9 you can count it's 9 minus 1 which is 8 so variable i is equal to 8 going up to as long as i is greater than or equal to 0 so it'll loop 9 times you know 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i minus minus reduce i every time decrement so basically in short what this means is the loop runs nine times zero one two three four five six seven eight as long as i is that i declare another variable call it random index which is equal to math dot floor of math dot random into i plus 1 i plus 1 is 9 so math dot random of 9 and math dot floor of math dot random into 9 will always be a number 0 to 8 either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 see math dot random method will give you a fraction between 0 and 1 multiply it with 9 it will give you anything between 0 and 9 but not equal to 9 and greater than 0 bump it down with math.floor and you'll get numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so the variable random index will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the next variable item at index is going to be equal to input what is input is nothing but the jumbled variable with the word scrambled so random index this random index could be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so randomly we are picking up a letter from the word scrambled depending on which character of the array got picked up I know it's very very difficult to understand you probably might have to play and replay this video several times before it starts to make sense you may have to go through certain documentation Google's you know certain uh, documentation before it starts to make sense so basically first you generate a number 0 to 8 including 0 and including 8 and then you randomly generate a character or pick up a character S C R A M B. it could be anything could let's say it's s and then what you do is what these two lines do is let's keep it simple it swaps the last character with the randomly picked character so let's say D with the S or D with the R or D with the M whatever got picked up randomly so it swaps the last character which is the I with any of these randomly picked up characters swapping that's what these two lines do I've left the comments and then returns the input and this happens eight times so the shuffling happens eight times uh, nine times rather eight yeah nine times zero one two three four five six seven eight including zeros is happen happening nine times 
So nine times first the last character gets swapped with any of the characters, then the second last gets swapped with any of the characters, then the third last gets swapped with any of the randomly generated characters. So after nine cycles it will definitely be something like this. See if I refresh what happens. completely different uh, scrambled combination. The phone has to come up at the wrong time. Right? See? Completely different. Every time. So here the string, variable string is scrambled and we generate uh, an array by string dot split method. The delimiter is nothing. When that is the case, the array will have all the characters s comma c comma r comma m so on and so forth and then the shuffle method that we have just created using array dot prototype dot shuffle let's read the definition the prototype constructor allows you to add new properties and methods to the array object and we have just created the What was that? Uh, the shuffle method. All arrays will have this method available. A new method. That's not inbuilt into JavaScript. And then we write it onto the document jumbled. This is the result. I know it's difficult. It may not make, make a lot of sense immediately, but slowly it will. Guys, I hope you found this information useful. You have a good day and please subscribe. Does it look like subscribe? I'm sure it doesn't. So it's working. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.